guys, what the hell's going on here? This is Steve Gellis' car. Steve works for LTH, and I thought this was a good opportunity to show you what the hell is going on with the direct injection system. Not everyone gets a good look at the direct injection system on modern Mustangs. As you can tell, it's intricate. And now you understand why lower manifolds for blowers don't fit on this guy. It has to be kind of like a, a shallow setup. So, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it looks pretty gunky. I, I mean, looks like there's a lot of oil getting through Steve's car, but you know, he does have all the provisions necessary, the catch cans and everything, but maybe it's just inherent to the direct injection design. Who knows, but it's a little gunky up in there. But at least now you guys can see what the hell is the whole hubbub about the direct injection system. Now, why is his intake off? Well, his intake is off because he's getting a supercharger. What supercharger? That's right, Edelbrock supercharger. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the YDBT edition, but he does have the front feed supercharger from Edelbrock with the 2650 rotor pack. Now, this is a complete stage two kit, okay? This isn't like my kit. My kit was more of a tuner kit that you kind of can make some shit happen. But this guy is a complete kit. It even has the little space between the, the supercharger and the uh, coil covers. I believe this makes it all flow nicely. It's got all the belts. He's gonna stay six rib. I think he's gonna stay six rib, isn't he? It looks like, that's like eight rib. Let me see. Yeah, that's an eight rib. KO80. That's an eight rib setup. So Steve is gonna go eight rib. So does that mean he's gonna get the big boy overdrive? Steve, I mean, how much power are you looking to make there, Steve Arino? If you're gonna get the big boy overdrive, oh my God, he's gonna get the big boy overdrive. We gotta have a talk, Steve-o, because this, you might not want these problems. This is a big boy overdrive, Steve. Woo wee. Man, so he's gonna have to figure out a couple of things right off the bat. How much power does he want to make? Because this setup right now with like a 3.75 pulley will probably make well into the 700 range and he's going to stay on pump gas. So we'll see what the whole deal is. I think John from Lund Racing is going to tune it. He is going to use a VMP performance plug and play boost to pump or fuel pump voltage booster. I guess you can't call it a boost to pump because I guess some people have a copyright protection on that bullshit. Out of here, Pezzo. Yes, sir. You just came I... in. You just yeah, came in. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hey, what? Have a good night. That's what you need to do. No, no, no. This is this makes money. <laughs> anyway, Mikey's gonna be working on it. What do you think about the direct injector setup on this setup, brother? You know, this is badass. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. Oh, for Domo. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to check in periodically to check the process of the installation. Dude, this is a lot of this he's got a state. This is like a 20% overdrive with a 3.5. I'm telling him he's got he's to back it down. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to have a talk with him before she goes. A, a sandal here. <laughs> Camouflage. Camouflage. All right, I'll get back to it once starts, parts start going in the car and update as much as I can. Do you see what's up there? The sandal? What are we doing, Mikey? <laughs> Putting together the uh, dampener. Dude, this is, I didn't realize, that, that's gonna be a lot of boost, man. It's an overdriven deal. It's yeah. not a stock. Three eight rib job on there. Eight rib, and he's got a, uh, what play pulley? Three five, Ooh, Yeah, well. we actually uh, found oh, the other pulley. Oh, you found the other one? What's yeah. that? There we go, Three much seven. better. Okay, I was freaking out earlier, because I'm like, dude, a three five? Hell no, not because it can't. It won't make power. I think it's just too much for pump gas, in my opinion, but. Okay, here are all the parts that come in a stage two kit for you guys that are curious what Edelbrock offers. The, this doesn't come in it, he bought that separate. And I think he bought the Detrox 400 pump separate. This is the map housing. Got a bit of a bell mouth on there. It's like 120 maybe millimeter or so, I think. I'm not 100%. It's similar size to like, like what the Whipple has. And it has, this is the elbow filter. All right, Mike, whenever you think there's something I gotta film, let me know, okay? Thank you. Mikey is now installing the, I don't know what overdrive that is. I don't know if it's like 10%, 15%, or 20%, but it's it's good size, man. Probably like a 10%. It doesn't well, look, maybe a 20. It doesn't look too big, but that's basically the same unit that's on my deal over here if you guys want to take a look. 
at the front of it right here. So what I like to do, I can do this. So that's that. And what's next after that? Are you going to install the head unit after that? The brackets and shit. No, uh, after that, we'll put the uh, AC belt back on, and then we'll put the bracket on. Okay. Over here, and then once it's installed, I'll take yeah. video of that. Cool. cool. Thank you, sir. Accessory drive installed. Say you want you to come out and talk to Paul. This is how the Adam Brock's are. I'm trying to get a good bird's eye view. Let me see if I can do this. Bend this up. Yeah, I don't know where he's going. There we go, much better. I have to extend it out a little bit. But yeah, there's the accessory drive for Nike Action Drive with the belt drive setup for the Edel Brock. Similar to this guy. The good thing is now I know what belt to run because I didn't know what belt to run before. But that's that on the motor. Installed in Steve's car. The homeboys dressing up the blower over here. Got the rails. What, what injectors are in this thing? Dude Jorks 95s? Yeah. Right. I think so. <laughs> Here we go. So, Mike is cleaning up the awesome direct injection ports. Port, ports. You got to walnut blast these shits, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. That's like a new thing online. You got to walnut blast these shits. That shit's been around since the fucking 80s. No, no, no. It's brand new. No one's ever heard of walnut blasting I, until I uh, this year. Intake manifold ceramic coat. Yeah, bad. ceramic coat. You're, you're blowing. You're putting that in now? Putting that in now, bitch. Huh? It's very lightweight. It takes two... Uh, Two white boys put it in. You guys gotta dance. I think I put mine on by myself. Um yeah, they're probably on one of the boxes. There aren't like open exposed on his pallet. Ready? Yes. Oops. Oh yeah. What can you? Sit down for a second. What are you on over there? Okay. Lift it's it up for a couple of seconds. Yeah. Well, it's right. Just let it sit there for a second. This is a young, it's a young man's game. So. Are you sure? Yeah. You have to remove it, but still. No, no. no lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up, bitch. Lift it up, bitch. What happens when they don't fit? You stick it in harder. Bite the pillow. I'm going in dry. Hello. <laughs> Hold on, Christian. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Maybe you gotta take that little guy off and zip it off. <laughs> Suckle on my zipper. <laughs> I am stuck. Oh, it's yeah. It's pretty good. So should I cut here to make it look yeah, like it was yeah, an easy yeah. install? Yeah. All right, because you know I'm real. I show the real shit. Oh man, you know this is <laughs> fucking badass shit. You know, <laughs> I, I'm leaving it on so they can see what to expect and how to fix it. No, it's not not your deal. You didn't make this. <laughs> That's a big old inlet. It is a big old inlet. Look at this design. No offense. Just how are you gonna get a belt on that? What? Yeah, I'm just saying. Look how tight that is, though. How do you think Whipple does it, dude? I don't really care how they do it. Let's go over here. Let's 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 just. <laughs> No, let me. No, I can't use certain vehicles. Same way. Same way. Yeah, but I'm just mean, a little got, more room. You got half there. Inch yeah. over there. Ah, no, I, I wanted to make covered it up. You know, cause you know, licensing issues. What do you want to do? Just lift it and. That ain't shit. What the fuck you talking about, Christian? Nah, fuck. Man. I know. I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Don't know. I'm just a service. He's not, from there. He's not seeing that angle. He's not seeing any angle, man. Okay, so. It also keeps the belt from you know, flying off. <laughs> it's a, it's yeah. It's tensioning the belt with the throttle body. Can you lick? Yeah. So right now we're having a little bit of an issue um, in the it's, back. It's touching these that little port that comes out from the valve cover. See that? Or the head, the boss in the head. It almost needs to come down straight, not yeah. angled in. It has yeah. to come up and down straight. And it'll probably, it'll probably barely touch. Yeah, lift the whole bitch up. Oh, there you go. Ta-da! You know, sometimes you need a 15th set of eyes. Hang on. Just, just, just so you guys know, there was no issue with this at all. It was just... It's still an issue. In, it's install error. It's install error. Ford should not do that. <laughs> That's, That's like an old LSD. So Adam Brock, you're safe. Plenty of room. It's like an old Firebird <laughs> firewall. Good thing I didn't cut. It's a non-issue. Non-issue. But you do this stuff all the time. So owner of Power by the Hour, because everyone thinks you're the owner of Power... Everyone goes, oh, Frank's the owner of Power by the Hour. Then when I actually showed him no, Jake... Yeah. 
Hey, you're not the owner? What do you do here? What, is your, what do you... <laughs> Hey, what do what you do? He do? He, there, oh, it's probably going to be easier to describe what I don't do. Okay, okay. I'm not a mechanic. Okay. There you go. Basically, what he does is he promotes the product. He fills the website. He deals with vendors, outside vendors, inside vendors. He tells these guys to go fuck themselves all the time. That's kind of what he does. Uh, so Cervini's or Cervinus? It's Cervinus. Cervinus. So I'm running Cervinus. Go fuck yourself. It's Cer <laughs> it's, hey, hey, did his job. Thanks, boss. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. It's a Cervini. I'm putting in a Cervini. 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 From Long Island. Vinny. I'm putting in a Vinny 1314 GT500 okay. looking upper grill. Oh. It's probably an RTR or something like that. Whatever. <laughs> Do they still called. call it a GT500 grill? Yeah, because really they stopped making GT500s in 2014. Yeah. So I'm putting in this this mesh in here too afterwards. Oh. So. Okay. This is uh, a GT or I think that's upside down, but I mean it's cool. <laughs> it's not a bad little uh, install, but taking the bumper off this car is not fun. So. Okay, so this is what it looks like installed. Looks good in there, man. That looks really good. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stock, got, uh, stock, stock built motor. Should have got it dipped, cone blue. Now you should have got it dipped, dipped. like like your pants, camouflage. Yeah. Camo Steve. Camo with sandals. <laughs> looks good, brother. It looks really good. Camo with sandals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man. So for that, for those that you didn't know, this is Steve Gallus's car. For you, formerly of UPR, now of LTH, so he used to be UPRC, so now he's LTH Steve. <laughs> Look at that. If Delta. he gets hired by MTV, he'll be MTV Steve. Oh. Huh? Huh? PBH Steve? Steve? Huh? Ponies in the Smokies Steve? Bonies in the Choke Me's Steve? Choke me with your yeah. Steve? <laughs> Poke me in my bony Steve? <laughs> bony with your choke me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so there you go. Got good clearance over here. Gonna have plenty of hood clearance because he's got a Cervini hood in the oh. deal. Plenty. <laughs> Bowling's a badass shit oh, yeah. for Steve, you know? Look, somehow the belt fit, huh? This guy was freaking I mean, the fuck it out. it was fucking tight. You know, it, it went in. It, it went in. in. You know what you do? You know how you fix that? Smaller pulley, bitch, yo. Smaller pulley in that bitch, yo. Bitch, yo. Pump gas, bitch, yo. Pump gas, bitch, yo. All right, cool. So whenever you want me to come back and, I don't know, take other pictures of shit. Like, I want to see how these things go. The things that let you know it's supercharged. <laughs> hey -o. Hey -o. We ain't got no power. Power's out. All right. I'll get out of here and then film it when it's all buttoned up. No problem. Tomorrow, I think, right? Yeah, <laughs> okay, so the kids together. Mike, how'd it go together? It was pretty good. There's a couple little things, but for the most part, for the first one, it was pretty simple. First one you did. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. This is. The, have you done a Whipple one yet? Uh, I haven't done a Whipple one. I thought I could do that one, but, but you I didn't have done, done it. Myself, okay. No. So this guy is the final product, how it looks installed. I like how it looks. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Put one of those covers on, see how it looks when it, you know, just kind of mimic what it's going to look like. There you go. So that's what it's going to look like when it's all sent down and bolted down. Just so you get an idea. So I guess the next thing is put the bumper on, turn it on, make some power, chuck a rod. Have lunch, it. <laughs> all, all right. Power. All right, so I'll come back. I don't know if I should end the video here or just give you Everything? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. All right, I'll think about it. We'll All see. Right. We'll see. Looks like the homeboys are going to start her. And this is a real deal first startup. Not none of this. Is it still flashy? No, it's not. Okay. Um, real deal startup. No bullshit. So if something goes wrong, you can see it. A lot of people warm up their shit and uh, say, hey, first startup. And it just starts perfect. I'll show you the real deal. I'm gonna check the leaks and all that. Yeah. In ready.
end the video here because the next video is just going to be dino stuff. Um, I think they're going to just try to see how much they can get on pump gas. The car's going to end up making 10 PSI or so. And they're going to see what they can do to get it making decent power. I think it's going to be in the mid 600s to high 600s by the time it's done on Florida pump gas. Once he can swing E85, I think that's where we're going to try to push it but look Steve's not a racer he is not looking to push this car and push everyone's shit in he's looking to enjoy a car something he drives daily have a bunch of fun in it have a ton of torque on demand 